Hello, hello, hello there, Internet. I'm your everyday winner, and welcome back to the Minecraft experience. This is episode 45. How's it going, everybody? I am ready to play some Minecraft today. Actually, um, I'm not really completely ready, but uh, we'll see what we can do this episode. First of all, I'll show you guys something. 3x3 three three door, you guys know that it was broken from the redstone update. So, I went back in here to the wiring, um, took a look around, see what was going on with this piston here. And I learned there was a block here, right here, there was a cobblestone block from when I was building it. And I wanted to take it out to go down, so I did, and I heard the piston update. So, I've come to the conclusion that the reason why the piston does this is because of some sort of block update issue. And I'm not the greatest redstone person in the world, but you might notice this right here. And this is our solution to this problem. Right click it, boom, fixed. Right click the uh, redstone ore and it um, updates it, therefore updating the piston and pushing the piston back out. It might not be the most logical way to go about this, but it sure is the easiest. Um, I could have a lot of different things here, but this seemed to be but the best way I could do it. And um, I think I have to wait a little bit for it to stop with its, uh, whatever you call that. It's dusting. I guess so. I guess I have to wait for a little bit. And then I guess um, when I open this, it'll be like this. I go in here, grab what items I need, come back out, bam, and then run away. And then, um, yeah, that's basically how that will work. It's not meant to be used uh, this much, I guess. But it still works in the end. Um, I just need to wait for it to stop doing its little particle effects thing. Oh, I guess when it stops, it fixes itself too. So we'll turn the lights off in there. And then Shazam. Beautiful. Fixed. That's fixed to my standards. But this episode, we are going to be working on the cave some more and maybe start laying out the restaurant outline. Let's kill the Man because he seems to be pretty mad. Alright, so if I'm... I don't remember if here's in the beacon effects or here. Well, let, me, let me check it out here. I just want to know that real quick. Alright, this is the end of the beacon effects, so I'm going to change the floor down here too and put some stairs here. Maybe we could have some little rooms here on the sides, I don't know yet. But what I want to do is I want to make some of these floor or most of the floor, like the main floor, into stone slabs because um, I feel that it's going to go really well with the wood. It'll just make everything look very clean and very nice. So that's what we're going to be doing for now. And then we'll get started on the restaurant. Um, the only thing is, is that I know what I want to do with the redstone, but I have no clue how I want it to look. And um, the redstone comes last because I have to build the structure first before I do the redstone, or at least that's how I want to do it. So um, I could build around the structure and under the structure instead of building my redstone and then building a structure around that because that'll be more difficult then. So yeah, we're just going to be clearing this out. We will be talking to you guys a little bit. Um, I need to get some of these recorded because um, <laughs> last episode I told you guys that um, I've been playing... Well, I started playing um, Old School RuneScape from 2007 when I first started playing it. And um, I recorded that episode about two days ago and I haven't stopped playing. It's, uh, <laughs> it's bad. It's about just as addicting as it was um, back when I was a little 11 year old and uh, it's it's just so much fun I, I'm really excited to be playing it me and Kmac are playing a lot of it um, we're gonna try to get more people to be playing with maybe meet some uh, cool guys on there if any of you guys out there want to play RuneScape um, and play the 2007 RuneScape then um, personal message me or something because I would love to play with you guys play runescape with my subscribers that sounds lovely and uh, I don't know if I'm ever gonna do any runescape videos maybe a tutorial every now and then if I want to but I'm gonna need to get well versed in the game myself again first before I start teaching you guys stuff if you ever want to learn anything about it but um for those of you out there who don't know runescape it is a MMORPG massive multiplayer online role-playing game something along the lines of that and um basically it's kind of like medieval ish where like there's knights and swords and all that crazy stuff and uh, I need some cobble and what you do you go through the game um you there's a like a place called tutorial island which takes about 15 20 minutes to get through 
and um, it teaches you all the basic aspects about the game, and that's really nice. You, uh, if you're a brand new player, then Tutorial Island always helps. And um, so wh what you do, you go through the game, and then you could choose any path that you want to take because there are, um, I think, a little bit over 20 skills, 20 different skills that you could work on increasing to level up to... Um, improve your character. You could like go combat, um, magic, range, and then you could do other stuff like woodcutting, fishing, um, hunter, and then some of those things are mostly for money, some of them are for personal benefit, um, some of them are to make your player stronger in the field of combat. And um, basically what everyone usually does, they work on a little bit of everything at first and then they choose one uh, specific path that they want to take and then take that path as far as they can because you start out with all your skills at one besides hit points which you start with at 10 and um your goal is to try to get those skills to 99 and then there's other things you can do along the way like quests and whatnot and with those quests you could get rewards from doing them and some quests give you really good rewards and some of them give you um just average rewards Ooh, that looks this looks clean this looks very clean i like this this is beautiful this cave is going to be awesome by the time i'm done with it now time to do it for this floor but you just basically choose whatever way you want to go through the game, and it's just a lot, a lot of fun. Um, if you have never played RuneScape before, I would really, really recommend playing 2007 RuneScape because, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, a lot of other people share this opinion with me, uh, 2000 RuneScape is far superior to the RuneScape of today, the uh, five years of updates RuneScape that is... um. It's kind of weird to think that a game that a game's five years of updates has made it worse than what it was in five years ago, but uh, that's just how it is with RuneScape. It's really great. Um, there are a couple things that I wish that I had in 2007 RuneScape that are in the newer RuneScape, such as there is this area called the Grand Exchange. For those of you who play it, um, you probably know what it is, and it is basically like a in-game stock market. You buy and sell items for specific prices and those prices change um, due to the uh, certain demand of that item if the demand is high then the price is high if the demand is low then the price is low uh, just kind of like the real life stock market it's actually really really cool and really well done but um 2007 runescape your stock market is basically going to one of the more popular servers and then uh, going to a specific city called Verok and then you trade and sell items with players there because uh, players will go out and get items then want to trade and sell with other people and then you just go there uh, and try to get what you need and if you do then you do and if you don't then you don't um, that's just kinda how it works and it is um, it's actually pretty fun I I was in um, the more populated worlds a couple times sometimes they're harder to get into because they're full a lot of the time because there's a lot of people trying to trade ooh, ooh baby that looks nice. And it's going to be nicer when we have stuff in the walls. And we actually do the walls. I don't know what I'm doing with up there yet. I don't know about this area. It seems kind of a waste of space. But I might just make it the staircase up as an alternate way out. But um, I don't think I showed you guys that. But I built the pyramid down too. So it's kind of like a double sided pyramid. I, I don't know. Just, just for the lulz. Because I had way too many iron blocks. So why not just use them because I have them. But um, back as I was saying about RuneScape. It is a lot, a lot of fun. And then you could do things together with other people. And that makes it even more fun. And that's why it would be awesome if you guys came on there and played. And it would just benefit everybody else who's playing because right now um, there is a voting going on. And once you have to vote to play old school RuneScape. And right now there's an extra charge to play it. You have to be a member which costs $5 a month. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know if when that stops updating, or when it stops its particles, will that go back in? I guess we'll find out. But um, when you vote, that contributes to the total vote count. And once that vote gets to 500,000, that means that there won't be an additional charge to play it anymore. And that will be lovely. So, if you were, uh, if you heard about this before and you're considering playing, I would highly, highly recommend to go play it. Um, you can't lose anything really, it's only a couple dollars, 
and that's for a whole month and you could just pay month by month you don't have to uh have like a year subscription or six month subscription or anything crazy like that you could just go month by month if that's what you want to do uh just pay for one month test it out there's also a free version if you want if you don't trust uh my word or anybody else's word and you want to just still try for yourself first before you dish out any money. There's a free version that you could go try out. Um, not as many features, obviously. But once you get the members version, there will be more features. And you have access to anything in the game. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I'm going to probably have to cut that fence out there. Because I said I want to make a... Like, not a spiral, just a curved staircase going down from there. To go, whoop. Yeah, I don't know how I'm exactly going to do that yet. Off to uh, actually, I can actually do that. We don't have to work on the restaurant layout. We could just keep working on this cave. Hopefully, you guys don't mind me working on this cave and talking to you. But that is what this series is about. So let's grab some planks. We're gonna need to make some stairs. Probably need to run back into our storage room and get some more stuff. Probably need to make some more fences and whatnot. But I think this should do for now. All right, so let's let's figure out how we're gonna go about this here. So we, I think I'm gonna make this three by, well, just three wide, a three wide staircase, because then it has room for the sides. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna have to really clean this up off screen, I assume, but I just want to see if I could get the actual staircase down. But yeah, uh, RuneScape, really good stuff. I wanted to record this for you guys right now, so I have the rest of the night to myself to play some RuneScape. So. Um, and then we could do, up. Oh, I don't want to do that. Hold on, let's see here. Then this could go here, here, here. Uh-huh. And then we put these here. And then we need to go up one more. Pretty sure. Shut up, cars. I don't think, no, that's not going to work. Nah, that's not gonna work. Huh. How am I gonna do this then? We can move all this stuff in one. That'll be unnecessary work. Um, let me think here. What if... Yeah, I don't know why I thought that would work. Um, I, don't, I don't know what we're gonna do with this. I don't know right now. But... I'll go up, work on this floor a little bit more, keep talking to you guys. Um, I want to make this floor here, stone slabs too. I don't know what we're gonna do, how we're going to do that staircase, even if we're going to be able to do one, because we don't have to. This could just be a little uh, lookout balcony. We could have maybe a ladder going up and down or something like that. But uh, we'll clear out some area here. We have a ton of stone slabs, so I'll put all that down. Uh, we could take this garbage out here, um, get some cobby. Pop that down on the floor. And then we're going to have to work on some lighting for this cave so we don't just have torches sprawled everywhere. And we're also going to need to figure out what we're going to do with the areas in this cave. Um, maybe we could add like a little fountain down there or something. Maybe. Huh? That'll be nice. A little fountain there, down there in the middle. Uh, work on making over there look nice. And uh, yeah, this is going to be really awesome. I've always wanted to have a nice big open redone cave. I don't know. I've always been a fan of building underground. Just... My thing, I do like underground building. A lot of a lot of people don't. They don't have the uh, patience for it. I mean, it does require a lot of patience. Like, you'll have to redo all the ceiling at one point and everything if you want it to m make it look, like, almost perfect. But, um, I don't know. I, I enjoy underground building and also enjoy above ground building. I like building in general. I like building in this game. Oh, hello there, Redstone. How you doing today? Cover you up. You guys never saw that. Uh, that, I'm actually really happy with the redstone that I did for um, this. I made everything work just the way that I wanted to. Oh yeah, and that the particles stopped on that, and that did not update. I should take this screen down. I don't know why I'd have three up. I sometimes I just don't even notice when that stuff's up. Uh, don't waste any stone slabs. Pop all these down here. Um, I don't think we'll need to. I think we can just put them right here at the end of the stairs. That we don't need to really worry about a uh, transition. So let's put all these down here. Yeah, that looks good. I don't think I'm gonna bring these down either. They'll be fine up. I could, I could put some stairs going around them if I want to to uh, clean up the look and make everything more smooth on it. Yeah, so we'll clear out some more area here. 
pop some more stuff down. I mean, like, besides RuneScape, I haven't really been doing, um, a whole ton of stuff. I've just been playing constant RuneScape for the past two days, and it is, it is great, guys. I cannot emphasize enough how much, um, you guys should come on there. If you, uh, have you ever even played RuneScape before, you'll just really enjoy going back to it. Because I stopped playing RuneScape for, like, um, maybe three or four years or so. I stopped, and then, um come back to it it's beautiful when i stopped i got to like around level 96 and that's before they totally screwed up the uh leveling system and the combat system that's one thing that i truly hate about new runescape and that's how they totally changed the entire combat system and like everything just is so much higher now for some reason i don't i don't know i think it's really stupid but whatever you can't stop it now because i mean it already happened and i'm happy that i wasn't playing it when it happened or else i would just would have been very very upset if they ruined something like that but i mean even um like 2008 runescape is really good i mean i would be happy playing that too but uh 2007 runescape has that uh og swag <laughs> 2007 runescape is a lot of fun so let's fill this stuff up down here i'm just filling all this up so I don't have to ever worry about those lighting glitches, um, maybe slowing my game down or anything. We're going at a solid 60 right now, and we are still on snapshot uh, 13w07, and I think I'm like two snapshots behind right now, but they haven't really done much. Oh, I am actually one snapshot behind, I'm pretty sure they had to skip a week because of the... Um, they're trying to do light lighting bug fixes, and... uh. I remember reading on the Mojang website that they said that it slowed down the game a lot, so that's why they didn't release it, because um, it was not playable. So, I don't know about the 13W09 snapshot. Maybe it's better, but, I mean, my performance is doing actually really good right now, and I'm pretty impressed with it, because I remember I was having some frame rate issues previously with this snapshot. But 1.5 should be upon us soon, and then we could go back to having our Optifine and faithful texture pack which i do miss i love the faithful texture pack it's beautiful and uh, yeah it'll be nice to have that again i'm not gonna fill um actually I, I i can i can fill this up i might put a border between here though i'll leave that open for a border because that'll make it look nicer it'll um set it apart from the rest of the floor actually take actually no i don't need to take that out I'll just make the border right in front of it because I was going to say I'll leave this open if I ever need to tweak with the redstone anymore, but I have a tor redstone torch right there, and I had one right there, uh, signifying where I could break in to go um, take care of the redstone. I think I could just keep it like that because it's very subtle, and it's uh, very convenient for me, just in case there's ever any more redstone problems. If they change something else before they release 1.5, I will be able to fix it. So we got ourselves... A beautiful, beautiful, clean cave floor. A nice little balcony here. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to make this. going to figure out what I'm going to do with the stairs. And I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to make the restaurant look on the outside. So, um, I'll fill this little area in back here. And then we'll call that an episode. Hopefully, um, I'll probably try to move on from this cave stuff in the next episode because this is the second episode in a row where I'm doing where I'm working on the same stuff but I'm actually really happy to get this cave going because it's been very very bland for a long time besides the storage room but um it's looked very bland it's gonna start looking very nice pretty quickly I'll try to do some on off-screen stuff if uh <laughs> I could take a break from runescape but yeah um comment about uh, RuneScape if you want to, uh, comment about anything, comment about the series, comment about what you want me to build next because I get like no suggestions and anytime I do get a suggestion they're pretty ridiculous like undoable or just like not really a great suggestion like the build wouldn't be too cool. So uh, leave those suggestions guys, uh, good ones please, I love good suggestions, I've used them before and they're awesome. So. Till next time, guys. Peace out.